Hello, I'm Laurel House, a Gen Connect expert, and I'm at Blog Her 11 with Liz Strauss from Successful Blog. Thank you for being here, Liz. I'm delighted to be here. So you are speaking at Blog Her as well. That's right. How's it going so far? Uh, we're having a great time, and I'm seeing so many people, new people I've never met, and people I already love. So know. tell me a little bit about minding your own business. <laughs> well, that's the name of the track that we're in, and you know, it's about it's for the people in the, who want to like build a business from their blog or extend the business that they're building. The session that we're doing is on peer networking, um, and it's actually subtitled "All Boats Rise." You know, huh. so we're going to be talking about how, you know, how do you even start to build a peer network? Do you do it online? Do you do it offline? Do you combine it together? How do you find that first person, and and how do you structure it, and and what do you talk about? And how do you start? Can you just give me two tips on how to start building that network? Well, you need to know, um, you know, what your what your business is, what your values are, and what kind of people you want to learn from and be with. And then I think you really need to like um, draw draw yourself to people who don't think the same as you do. Yeah. So so they can add other things to the pie. If you're always spending time with like-minded people, you're going to end up with the same ideas you already That makes have. a lot of sense. So find complementary peers to be in your network. Exactly. And people, the third thing I would say is you want to find people who won't let you fail. Hmm who live not to let you fail, who love you enough that they won't let you fail. And I think what's interesting about that is you really have to examine yourself and look at what your weaknesses are and, and, and admit them in order to look out for the people who can compliment you and support you. Exactly, yes. And that can be hard for people to do. Well, yeah, it, it is, um, but it's really fulfilling when you do it. Yeah, that it makes really a lot is. of sense. So what about page to stage? Can you tell me a little bit about that? Are you, um, are you talking about um, writing on a blog and, and becoming a speaker? Yeah. yeah. Um, I mean, it's, you said that you're a little bit of an introvert. So, so going from behind the computer to then in front of hundreds, maybe even thousands of people. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, well, you know, it, it's, it's not that different. Um, you know, as long as you're holding the microphone. You know? <laughs> That's like your... <laughs> you know, it's the microphone is like your, your keyboard. Your safety. Oh, uh, interesting. Understanding your words. But one of the things that helped me a lot was um, making sure I understood the stories I wanted to tell and having those clearly in my mind. Yeah. As opposed to trying to get the exact words right. But other, you have to know what your speaking style is just the same way you know what your writing style is. Yeah. And to understand that often online, writing is about conversation. You know, I write a bit and then you respond in the comment box. But speaking is about presentation, you know. And so um, mo what most of us get wrong is that we're not willing to practice because we don't want to see ourselves. Yeah. And once I learned that. That know, practice makes perfect. I mean, it really does. You know, I got an accountability partner and just basically he said, show up next Tuesday and we'll videotape you again. An accountability partner. I love that. That's a, that's a great way to, to think about it. Exactly. Yeah. And, and it's sort of about owning it. You know, people always talk about you need to own it, you need to own it, you need to own it. And finally, at the end of the day, what I realized was I'm not speaking at the level that I want to speak at, of the level of a speaker that I want to see. Yeah. And that's what pushed me finally. Perfect. Well, thank you so much, Liz. I'm Laurel House with GenConnect.com. For more information, go to GenConnect.com or blogher.com, and you can learn more about Liz Strauss.